sharing something amazing. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. I'm going to share something very special, a family recipe that came from my cousin Linda. This is Oma's apple cake. Before I share the recipe, why not head to weekendatthecottage.com, subscribe to our website, look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel, subscribe to it as well, drop us comments, thumbs up, like our videos please, and then finally find us on one or more of your favorite social media platforms using hashtag Weekend at the Cottage on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll put this in context for you. My cousin Linda is the daughter of my Uncle Louie's wife, Aunt Liz. Aunt Liz's mom was Oma. Linda's grandmother, Oma, used to make this beautiful apple cake for Linda. I asked Linda to share it with us at Weekend at the Cottage. The only caveat, we cannot tinker with it, neither can you. When you make this delicious recipe at home, just do it exactly the way Oma did. You'll have great success and you're gonna be left with something very delicious too. Let's begin with a large bowl. I'm adding three large eggs at room temperature. Although you can do the recipe using a wooden spoon like Oma used to, I decided to use a hand mixer low setting to incorporate these ingredients. I'm adding one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Just slowly mix that in. Three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, two cups of all-purpose unbleached flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a lovely spice complement, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. You can see when you add the cinnamon, the color of this cake changes. Now with the cake batter perfectly blended, we're done with the hand mixer and we have to fold in the next three ingredients. Principal ingredient is apples. This is all about the apples and I had three apples to choose from. Number one, Macintosh. I love the crisp flavor. I love the way it performs when baked. One option. Number two, Golden Delicious. They are exactly that, golden and delicious but I decided to go with my favorite for baking, Cortland apples. We peel the apples and then you finely dice them. We're adding them on top of our cake batter. Linda is suggesting one cup of nuts. I feel walnuts are perfect for this. I roughly chop them. Final ingredient, it is subtle, but you will notice it. A quarter ounce of semi-sweet chocolate into my grater over on top of this. Now we're gonna take a spatula, we're gonna fold in those ingredients. And I just wanna say, this is truly an apple cake. There's a great ratio of apple to batter. And when you go to taste this, there is apples throughout the entire cake. I love it. We're gonna transfer now to a nine by 13 baking pan. No need to grease it. Our oven is preheated. Place the cake in the oven. We're gonna bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Our cake was done at the 40 minute mark. I took it out of the oven and then let it cool completely. Next step, we need to cut the cake. My sister Dana wanted small pieces. I was like, forget about it. I want nice size squares of this cake. So I divide it into 12 pieces. I like to serve it onto a plate with a little dusting of icing sugar. Remember, it's all about the simplicity of this treasured family recipe. I can tell you, having eaten a couple of pieces, Oma's apple cake. Mmm, is mighty fine. Mmm. Thanks to my cousin Linda for sharing it. Hope everyone out there gets to try it. It sure is fantastic. After you've made it and enjoyed it, come on back and visit Weekend at the Cottage again soon. Always something good cooking in the cottage kitchen. Take care.